Hey everybody, I'm just popping on here as promised to show you all how we made our cute little sock gnomes this week. So you can see here I have a couple that I have made. I, we made this one last night and then I made this one a couple years ago with the assistance of um, a guest instructor for, at the Weyburn Public Library. I was very grateful for their assistance and um, yeah, it's just like the, the class that keeps giving here. So um, this sock here was made with, or this gnome was made with two different ankle socks. So you can see the two different ones um, glued together there. The top one, it's filled with some stuffing. And then I, I sewed the top here a little bit just to make it more like a pom-pom. Um, I did put in some pipe cleaner because I was hoping to like make it kind of kind of curly. But I think I put too much stuffing in there so it kind of over... Um, overshadows the the pipe cleaner curling it but yeah he's he's pretty cute another thing that I learned while doing this and the instructor did say when you're cutting make sure you're cutting behind the fur so you don't cut the fur and give him a funny shaped beard but um apparently I'm not a very good listener and I cut <laughs> there so I kind of just fluff it out to the side so you can't see as much when he's just sitting um so yeah you can see too like it doesn't have to be a Christmas themed gnome. This one's kind of more of a spring themed and then I put some buttons and stuff on to embellish him. Um, this one, I'm, I don't know if I, like I think I'm happy with him, but I might want to put like a little pom pom of some kind up here. We'll see, we'll see what happens. So I'm just gonna tilt the screen down like a tiny little bit here so you guys can see what we're doing. So there's a couple different things that you can fill the bottom of yours with. I've got sand in this baggie here. So you're going to want to make sure that you just get all of the air out of it. Perfect. Um, and we're going to make another one of this guy right here because I have another mismatched sock but a different color. So um, yeah, so you can use sand. I sent rice home. Um, another patron is making it with um, baking flour. Uh, yeah, and then the, the, the baggie is just to make sure that it's not leaking or anything out of your sock. So... I'm gonna make sure that sand gets all the way down into the bottom there. And then when you're happy with it in there, this is always like <laughs> the intimidating part when you gotta cut the sock, but um, there we go. You just gotta jump into it. All right, so we've got our uh, baggie of sand in the bottom of our sock here. And I'm just using an elastic band to cinch that off. So as I mentioned before, limited sewing for this, which is nice for any of you who are not the most confident with your with your sewing skills. This one doesn't take very much. So this sock has a plain side and a ribbed side. Um, I thought that would make a difference. It doesn't. Um, you you won't be able to see it anyways once the uh, once the beard is on here. So um, I've got this kind of fur. You can use um, mop uh, as well. Um, we're just gonna put some hot glue here on the very top part of the beard. And then I'm just gonna commit here and toss it right on right there. Perfect, yeah, so um, yeah, we had some of this at the library. So I was like, yeah, let's use it, that's great. Um, but yeah, if you don't have her at home and you want to make some at home and you don't know where to get supplies, you can use, um, those stringy mops and you can uh just take the string from the mop and uh like pull it apart and it makes a really fun fun looking beard so for my hat for this guy i'm just taking the top of this sock i turned it inside out and then i'm going to use another elastic band to seal off the top Okay, and then I'm going to turn it back inside out. I'm going to tighten that a little bit because I don't want to be able to see the white of the heel. There we go. Perfect. So you can see it's, it's all sealed off there. All right. And then we have some stuffing. I was telling the, the group last night, um, you can go to any craft store or Walmart, um, and you can buy just regular stuffing or like a cost saving hack is they have pillows for $3. 
and then you can cut up the pillow and just take the stuffing out of it. Um, and it's a lot cheaper. All right, so next what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get my hat kind of positioned here. This guy's really gonna be short and stout here. <laughs> All right, you can see him here. So once you kind of figure out how and where you want your hat to be, if you're happy with that, um, I think I want to put a little bit more stuffing in him actually. I'm going to add a little bit more in here. Perfect. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to glue around the entire edge. So I do a little bit at a time. So I'm going to start with the edge of the beard. Perfect. And then you go all the way around just to make sure that top sock doesn't go anywhere. Let's keep going. Perfect. All right. I might even double fold this toque. We'll see. We'll see. All right, so that's how he's looking so far. And then the la uh, second last step is you're gonna add a nose. So we're just using a little um, wooden bead. I'm just gonna pop it right on the edge there. Perfect, all right. So that's like a very quick crash course in making these little guys. And then I don't know if you guys can see here, I've got a few different things that you can use to embellish it. So I've got like a little um, bell. You could <laughs> put that on the top so it jiggles when you walk around. Um, you can put like a little snowflake on there. We've got sequins or buttons. Make it your own. Make it however you like. Um, yeah, so you can see there's a cute little, the twins, and then their off-season relative there. So, um, yeah. If you guys have any questions, feel free to give us a call. The line at the library is 306-457-2484. And if you do attempt this at home, we would love to see your products, your finished products. So, yeah, good luck making these guys at home and uh, have fun. Bye, guys.